Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. It is almost Mother's Day, so we are reading a Mother's Day story, The Kiss Box, which is by Bonnie Verberg and illustrated by Henry Cole. Let's see what happens in The Kiss Box. Mama Bear was always home and that's how Little Bear liked it. But sooner or later, all Mama Bears need to go away, even if it's just for a little while. I'll be back soon, Mama Bear promised. Let's have fun today, before it's time to say goodbye. They're getting ready and making some peanut butter and jelly. But Little Bear did not want to say goodbye. I miss you already, he said, and his mama said, I miss you too. Will you come back? Little Bear asked. I will always come back, Mama Bear told him. And even when I'm not with you, Little Bear, I'll send you love and kisses every minute of every day, just like I'm doing now. Can you feel them flying through the air from me to you? Yes said Little Bear, but are you sure you won't forget about me when you are gone? I will think about you all the time, said his mama, no matter where I am, no matter what I do. Can you see what they're doing? They're fishing. Even when you are very busy, asked Little Bear. No matter how busy I am, you are always most important, said Mama Bear, and kissed his ear. You know that, don't you? I do, said Little Bear, but I want you to stay home. I can't stay home, said Mama Bear, but I can leave you a hundred kisses to keep you company. And every time you miss me, you will have all those kisses. Do you remember how to count to a hundred? Can you count to a hundred at home? It's a really big number. Let's see, I think Bear can count to 100. I do, said Little Bear, I remember, but where will I keep the kisses so they won't get lost? Mama Bear smiled. I will give you a special jar, she said, and I will fill it with a 100 kisses. Every time you need a kiss, just open the jar and kisses will fly out from me to you. Um, but what if I break the jar, Mama? Hmm, then I will fill an envelope with kisses. And every time you need a kiss, just open the envelope and a kiss will fly from me to you. Hmm, but what if I lose the envelope, Mama, said Little Bear. Then I will kiss your fingertips with a hundred kisses. And every time you need a kiss, just touch your fingertips to your heart and a kiss will fly from me to you. Mama smiled. You won't lose your fingertips, will you, Little Bear? Oh no, Mama, said Little Bear. But how can I send the kisses back to you? Hmm, do you have an idea? What could Little Bear do to send the kisses back to his Mama while she's away? Suddenly, Little Bear had a good idea. I know how I can send kisses, Mama. Then we will always be together. How? said Mama. It's a secret, said Little Bear. Don't peek. What do you think Little Bear's working on? Looks like he's got out his glue and his scissors. Little Bear found a small box. He drew a picture of himself and glued it inside. Then he filled the box with a hundred kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Everyone as special as the love he felt for his mama. When Little Bear finished, he called out to his mama, Surprise! Here's a kiss box for you. There's the kiss box. Now you make one for me. What a smart little bear you are, said his mama. Will you help me make it? Yes, said Little Bear. Now Mama Bear and Little Bear each have a kiss box of their very own. Can you see the kiss boxes? 
Here's Mama's kiss box made by Little Bear. And here's Little Bear's kiss box made by Little Bear and Mama together. And whenever they were apart, they keep their kiss bo boxes close. Do you know why? So they can send kisses back and forth and back and forth, no matter where they are. Together or apart, their love goes on and on. Just like yours does. Every time you say I love you with a kiss. The end. Great listening, everyone. So that's the story of the kiss box. Maybe for Mother's Day, you can think of a way you can share your love with your mom or your grandma or your aunt. Some way to share your kisses even when you're not together. Maybe you could even make her a kiss box. I wanted to share the message at the end from the author. She said she got the idea from a kiss box she had with her son. And I like the story especially because she got the idea from Don and Audrey Wood, who I am a big fan of. But Don and Audrey Wood are the godparents of her son, and they gave him a little kiss box so whenever they were apart, they could share their love together. And he used it until he was a big kid. So they used it for years and years and years together to remind themselves, no matter how far apart they were, that they were still together and that they loved each other. I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day and a great week. See you next week. Bye-bye.